every game has a very similar life cycle. Usually game's launch is followed by a sudden spike of players, which in turn is followed by sudden drop of players and then slow and eventual death of the game until the major updates or major DLC launches will steer the pot. But usually in most of the cases games never recover from its launch loss. But some games are just built different. And this game that we're going to talk about in this video is built different even compared to those games. This game was hyped beyond reason. People were expecting things that could not be expected from the games. And these expectations were not unwarranted. This was supposed to be the game to destroy all the games. But when it launched, it buried all the hopes with it. However, this game defied everything and still managed to return and became one of those undying games that is going strong years after its launch. And this game, of course, is none other than No Man's Sky. Everybody knows the story of No Man's Sky, story of the rise and fall and rising from ashes again. And unlike the other games that are slowly dying, this game actually managed to die and then return from the ashes. Dropping from 200,000 concurrent players during the launch to 1,000 in less than a year later, just to go above 10,000 daily average players today, there are a few reasons why this game just refuses to die. And here are some of those reasons. And thanks to Factor75 for sponsoring this video. Meal prepping can be a mess. And convenience is very important and factor saves times and alleviates the stress no prep no mess factor cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping so meals come together in minutes taking the guesswork out of what to make for breakfast lunch or dinner factor even offers meals to those looking to follow keto low calorie or vegan and vegetarian lifestyle and if you are into fitness fitness starts with the food and factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious and purposeful eating of course all the ingredients are dietitian approved factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less, even faster than ordering in. Meal plans offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of 34 plus meal options and 36 plus add-ons like smoothies, keto shakes, desserts, and more. Get a 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life using my link. That means you can choose two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. First, let's get rid of some of the simpler ones, and it is the genre. This game combines different genres, like space sims, survival, and crafting, but does it by combining the best parts of all of them. This game is not as complex as other space sims. It's much simpler than Elite Dangerous, and it's way simpler than X series, but it still has the depth and beauty of a space exploration. It's not as difficult to survive in like in any other survival games like Forest or Ark, but it still gives you challenges that you need to overcome, at least in the beginning. It's not as complex building game like factory builders like Factorio or Dyson Sphere program but its building system is still good enough to keep you busy for a really long time so this combination this mishmash of genres basically caters to almost everyone who loves to play games casually and also seriously as well but there is another thing that actually kept this game going for a really long time and of course you know about that and it is its update cycle this game does not feature a single piece of paid dlc this means that the game was not expanded by any paid means at all however this doesn't mean that the game was not expanded at all because the game has a numerous updates and major patches and these updates were not just fixes, they added actual gameplay functions and revamped the entire game. If you take the original No Man's Sky and compare it to what it is in 2024 and beyond, you will think that those are two completely different games or even sequels to one another. The amount of features and things being added every few months is phenomenal. Game is looking better, running better, has more things to do, has more varied gameplay loops and keeps you busy for longer and longer. And most importantly, all of those things are done completely for free. Yes, despite this game in not having very deep discount to be fair i have never seen this game go beyond 50 percent sale it's still worth it because this game is being updated and kept fresh for years now and having new things to do is not the only thing that keeps game going of course no game can survive without its dedicated player base and this update has done very interesting thing to its player base and let me explain why usually when people love and enjoy game they play it for a really long time however most of the time those players are doing almost everything and are taking long breaks from the game and after the game is updated people are returning to play some more and enjoy the new things and usually in other games this keeps player numbers high only just few weeks after its launch but this time it's a little bit different you see what no man's sky patches do is not just adding more things to do it revamps the core aspects of the gameplay as well and for that reason the replayability is a big part of this game after updates meaning that players who played for years and who are taking a break from the game can return to the game and start 
start from the very beginning. But now, because of the remaps and additional things, they will stay in the game for longer. They will play for longer now, allowing Gauss to add more things until most of the player base will abandon the game again. And this effect is compounding. And this compounding effect allows the game to go from average of 8 to 15,000 concurrent players at all times to 10 to 25 concurrent players at all times. It might not seem like a big leap, but we're talking about slow but consistent growth for more than 5 years now. Game is growing and these patches, updates and returning players are doing their big part in this. But that's not all. You see No Man's Sky has pretty great multiplayer scene as well. And usually any game that has a multiplayer will live longer. And this especially shines with an Expeditions. Expedition is a separate game mode that allows you to play with a bunch of other players in much less scattered way, where you are focusing on a single task or set of tasks at hand. And these expeditions usually come with every update and again extends the player time of returning players and of the new players as well. But there is one more thing that is usually not connected very deep with this game and with this game's life, but in my opinion is very important to its life cycle and why this game has been actually alive for the past few years and has been growing as well. And it is its competitors. You see, many people think that this game's competitors are space sims. In reality, it's not. This game is not as complex as Elite Dangerous or X4, and those player bases are seeking completely different things compared to what No Man's Sky players want. But there is one game that is extremely similar, at least at a first glance. The game that people kept comparing with this and played No Man's Sky because of active hype and marketing of the other game. Ain't is none other than No Man's Sky. I mean, Starfield. And when the footage of Starfield was first released, the resemblance was uncanny. Uh, there is a reason why people were calling Starfield No Man's Sky. It was very similar, and it is quite similar. Even though they're different genre, while No Man's Sky is focusing on exploration and crafting, and Starfield is more focused on an RPG and story, still, core gameplay loop is quite lookalike. And because people were extremely hyped for the Starfield, they played a lot of No Man's Sky as well. And when Starfield eventually released, to disappoint a lot of players, No Man's Sky got even more players as well. And if you will look closely, you will even see uptick of players when Starfield actually released. Coincidence? I think not. Overall variety of gameplay features and overall progress in the game itself allowed this game to stay alive and well for more than 8 years now. Game is still kicking and is not showing any signs of slowing down. And if Hello Games managed to keep No Man's Sky alive for this long after its initial fiasco, I can't wait to see what they can do with their other games. And if you want to see my review of No Man's Sky, you can watch it right here. Or if you wanted a list of amazing space games, all 27 of them, you can watch it right here. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you again, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Take care.